the violent baboons fighting for foods. Guys, back off, back off, back off. Chris, Bernie, back off. But when the tension faded away, what we could see now are this. The wild baboon that loves to eat chocolate. the unconditional love to the family. The love and respect to elders. and the lives that need our protection to continue living. At this early, very early morning, we are now driving going to Dante's Peak. For the second time, I will be attempting to see the wild baboons. We talk off early so that we reach the place and stay there while the temperature is still low. Because the place, literally, it's open. It does not have even a single tree to hide from the sun. And traveling early pays very well because right now, we are able to catch this beautiful sunrise. Okay, everyone, please enjoy the reflection of the sunrise to the hills. We are on top of the mountain right now. This is the place where we are going to leave our car, and we will just walk going to the subject area. Anyway, it's near, less than one kilometer. Okay guys, we have reached the place. This is Dante's Peak. And this is my second attempt. I hope that this time, we will succeed in getting into an interaction with the wild baboons. Because the first time, uh, it was not a success. So I am coming back. Hopefully this time, they will appear. Uh, we have prepared here some food items so that when they appear, uh, we will give them foods for them to eat. Now what we are going to do is to make some noise. Probably we will clap our hands just to call their attention. And yes, in less than 10 minutes we spotted them from afar. They are coming now. Oh my god, they came so fast. We are now in trouble. Some of them are violent. They are fighting for food. Guys, back off, back off, back off. Chris, Bernie, back off.
my God. Actually, they are not touching us. Some of them are fighting for foods, but uh, to us, they are not uh, attacking. And another problem is that we did not expect that this troop of baboons will appear with this large number. Now, the tension subsided, but the problem is that the food items that we brought are all finished, and these baboons want some more. Ayun isa, suplado. May anak po isa oh. Nabuli siguro na isa. Sharp ba? Masagin ka nila eh. Pag magkakagad ni Riz eh. Kaya nga eh. Taranda siya eh. Inagis lahat. So good kasi. So good eh. Bilis kasi ang layo pa nila tapos nandun na sa harapan. Oo, nandun na sa harapan natin. <laughs> Nung huling binigyo ako, nalayo ko eh. Bukas ka ng chocolate. Oo, oh, pira-pirasuhin mo. Huwag ka nang dudukot yan kasi pag akala nila ano to. Meron pa ilang ilan pang ilan nang nababas mong chocolate. Halos ka na happy na to. Sige na, okay, kuha pa dyan. The only food items that are left and we have are the chocolates. But as I see that this monk is still longing for foods, so I decided now to get them all. And I am so amazed to find out that they love chocolate. Sabi yung ah, dalawang bagsak mo, tigisa sila. Okay guys, actually this uh, second attempt uh, for me is a success. Because, uh, you know, when we arrived, uh, we just uh, stayed, uh, I think, about uh, 10 minutes. And then, actually, uh, upon our arrival, we started uh, making noise, clapping our hands, uh, calling them. And then, suddenly, uh, from afar, uh, rest actually spotted them coming in. So, I started uh, actually rolling my camera. But I was so surprised that I think it, in less than two minutes, they were in front of me already, the pack. The entire pack oh my god so actually this is the first time that uh, uh, I encountered uh, we, uh, I encountered this uh, wild baboons so I have no idea actually how to deal with them uh, that's uh, something that you should be uh, uh, actually you should be aware that uh, when you are dealing with uh, the wild animals uh, you should know before you come to the place 
uh, uh, the place of their inhabitants. Uh, okay, so uh, because actually everyone in the team was, uh, was rattled what to do and uh, our regret only is that uh, the uh, food items that we brought uh, is not good enough to fill them, uh, feed them all until they are all uh, actually uh, uh, full but anyway at least um, we were able to give them some kind of breakfast now they are uh, on my back and all of us are still uh, you know amazed by this uh, appearance of uh, the wild baboons so there you go you see them it's uh, um, adorable okay uh, what we did actually while giving them we are backing off uh, uh, we are walking back um, because uh, I think uh, it's more dangerous if we turn our back uh, to them so that's what we did is to uh, step back facing them while giving them the foods the bread that we brought uh, for them so there you go thanks God for the second time it's a success Okay. I realize now that these animals I am looking at are humans. Not literally and physically, but yes, they are. In fact, I see from them the wisdom that every human being should learn. The pure and unconditional love to the family. While there are people who could afford to dump or neglect their kids, never with the baboons. They will do whatever it takes to protect their kids. It was not what I had planned, not what I had come in, not the sins of. a common trip and fall with a bloody knee and tearing of the dress that I and the respect given to the elders by the kids so don't mistake my face as my calm quiet I'm smiling inside and I'm thinking you should try I see the wings of history in flight, the paradoxical morning light, when darkness is the wake-up call, and our city laughs through the pain. All we want is ordinary games. We don't need a windfall to invest our all. It is as I watch them peacefully moving around in our presence, there is one thing I am certain about. These creatures have their own rights to stay in their own place, the place that's slowly taken away by humans. These creatures need our help to keep their own habitat. They need us to protect them. They need us to keep their lives as we are. They need us to give them the life and continue to live. i
true and believe But you gotta care What did you feel when the troop of baboons appeared and that large number? Uh, nagulat ako kaya nga nung ano na ihagis ko na yung saging dahil baka sak baka sakmalin yung kamay ko eh. Nag bigla silang dumami nung una akala ko kokonti lang sila. How would you describe our adventure today? Ngayon uh, medyo wild. Wild. Kasi mayroong mga hype na kakaiba. Tsaka nakakatakot talaga. Tapos nakakapagod. Nakakapagod din. Tsaka medyo extreme. Kailangan talaga prepare ka sa mga pupuntahan mo dito. Kasi kung hindi ka prepare sa mga paglalakad na tulad nito, mauubusan ka ng lakas. The scariest uh, experience. <laughs> uh, were you scared by uh, the presence of the baboon? Yeah. Because uh, when the baboon approaching us, uh, I, I thought that uh, they, uh, they will attack us. 